So this week we're talking about an unorthodox way to help increase your feel at the bottom of the release. One way to do that, we're gonna do it with a blindfold. All right, guys, before we get started, Backstage Bowling has released a free spare guide on how to become a better spare shooter. Check it out in the description below. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab a blindfold. We use bandanas, seems to be the easiest, but you're just gonna roll that up so it's about an inch and a half wide and then you're just gonna put it around your head. The one thing that we have learned is that it's best to hold it up or keep it up on your forehead so when you walk to the foul line, you can see where you're going. But then once you get to the foul line, pull that down over your eyes and then get in that foul line release drill position. Because you can't see anything, you really have to rely on your feel and, and where your body is and make sure that it's in those perfect positions. As you get started, really start to feel and notice how the ball is rolling off your hand. If you want to challenge yourself, try feeling like you're coming up the back of it and then around it and really kind of notice how that feels because you can't see it. You really have to rely on that. Do that about 10, 15, maybe even 20 times to get really comfortable with it. Now that you got those out of the way, I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to do a one step. So again, have the blindfold up around your forehead and walk to about the spot that you are when you do your one step drills then pull it down over your eyes, do a practice swing, and again, notice the feel of where your body is in space and specifically where that ball is rolling off of your hand. Again, I would suggest doing these 10, 15, 20 times. Really start to pay attention to how your finish position feels and then also feel that ball roll off your hand. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna show you the next step that I take when doing these blindfolded, and that's taking a full approach. Now I've been doing this for many, many years, so I would not suggest you just run out there and do this if you've never done it before. We do not want anybody getting hurt at home. So maybe work yourself up to it over, over some time. I would just maybe start with foul line release drills to start. But I wanna show you guys what it's like for me when I'm blindfolded, taking a full approach. The one thing that I notice the most when I watch full approaches on video blindfolded is how incredibly stable my body is. From my lower body all the way up through my torso into my opposite arm, it's exactly the way that I wanna bowl when I don't have a blindfold on. So I really hope this helps. Good luck out there and we'll see you guys next week.